The 43rd ASEAN Summit that was held in Jakarta on September 5th and 7th discussed important issues from economy, health to the latest geopolitical issues. However, there are two main issues highlighted. Here's a take from outcomes of this year's Indonesian ASEAN Summit. Speaking at the brief on 43rd ASEAN Summit and related summits, in Jakarta last Friday, Director General for ASEAN Cooperation, Sidarto Suryodipuro, said that Indonesia's chairmanship in the summit has resulted in many decisions on various issues. The results include 90 documents, a number of agreements, and ASEAN Concord 4. One of the issues which gained a lot of attention during the summit was the South China Sea. Shafia Muhibat, Deputy Executive Director for Research at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, said Indonesia received a lot of critics and disappointment related to the outcomes on the South China Sea issue. Such critics and disappointment emerged due to high expectations on Indonesia which chairs ASEAN this year and due to relatively close relations between Indonesia and China. Meanwhile, Indonesia's initiative in the negotiation process of guidelines and code of conduct is still ongoing and targeted to complete it by 2026. The negotiations is expected to create security in South China Sea and to increase maritime cooperation for related countries. Another issue that gained high attention was the conflict in Myanmar. Shafia Muhiba said that during Indonesia's chairmanship, ASEAN leaders have expressed stricter statements to Myanmar. Myanmar was not invited to join in ASEAN ministerial meetings and summit. The Philippines has accepted request to chair ASEAN in 2026, replacing Myanmar. Deputy Secretary General of ASEAN for Political Security Community, Robert Matthews Michael Tan, said the conflict in Myanmar was an internal problem and only Myanmar could resolve it. Meanwhile, ASEAN continues to send humanitarian aid and attempts to bring peace in Myanmar.